Now what I was actually starting to look at here, which is what I started the video for, I'll get this meter in shot a bit better. Um, and I hope I'm not reflecting. Better? There we go. Um, is there's an option on the DC volts ranges, the last range is 200 millivolts. Alright, but when I'm trying to do this calibrator, I do 100 microvolt. Okay, so is it right? 10 volts, millivolts. Yeah, 100 microvolts. I've got to set for right now. But that's not doing that. Oh, here we go. Got to set. That's why. Got 8 volts. All right, so 100 microvolts. I've got set. Because everything's still warming up, it's only been, you know, still very cold, so the values aren't right exactly. Um, I've got like a 10 millivolt offset there. I'm trying to measure these really low levels doing the calibration on this unit, and um, you can see it is changing by, you know, 10 millivolts in that case. I tried to do 1 millivolt, well, yeah, you can see it, but you sort of, you're right at the bottom end of the scaling, and it's, it's not really that good. But on this particular meter, the 3065X, the other ones might be similar. It's got a temperature option, right? Now, temperature probes work by measuring a very small DC voltage level, which is generated by the thermocouple. So I thought, right, okay, I know this has got degree C, right? That's fine. But it's also got an option here to view the measured value. So you can actually see the DC voltage. So if you're on this temperature setting and you use measured value, you can see microvolt DC. So now I can actually measure microvolts, right? There you go. So this has got the resolution I need for measuring microvolts. Now the issue here is that when you're measuring levels this low, any kind of ambient radiated noise um, gets into circuitry, you know, into these cables and stuff. I move these around, it changes, or stick my hands around them, it changes a bit, and that sort of thing. So any kind of switch mode power supplies and stuff like that, or actually because I'm sitting right next to the power supply on this, it's actually picking up the noise from that power supply, radiated into this unit. If I move this further away, I get much less noise coming through. So it's something to be bearing in mind if you're trying to do levels this low. See, it's jumping over the place. It isn't that this is reading wrong, so it's detecting that those noise, those noise levels. So it makes it a bit hard to measure these really small levels. Um, but this can actually measure down to nanovolts. I did see it's come up with NV, and it rescaled. Um, when I had it further away, All right? So if I take these leads off, maybe it'll do it. Maybe be low enough levels. No, it's not. Okay, let's uh, do a short. Short those out instead. Okay. But it's still picking up a lot of noise. There you go. There's nanovolts. It's popping up there now. All right. And this is it popping up. So I can do microvolts. And it can actually do nanovolts. It's actually built into it that it can read those levels and, and display them. So what I was actually suggested to Siglet now is that because it's capable of doing these levels and these ranges, um, I've suggested that they put those ranges into the DC volts levels. So that, you know, it can read it. Obviously you have to be aware of noise when you're doing this sort of thing. When You, you know, you're trying to get these tests that it's done. But in the DC volt range, you can have, you easily have a 200 microvolt range and a 200 nanovolt range built into the meter and nobody else has got that that I've seen and that'd be a really good feature because you know people you know focus on you know, getting thousand volt ranges and stuff like that well yeah that's, that's also very handy but you're sometimes when you're doing really small stuff you want really small levels and the fact that this can do those those really small levels you know nanovolts is popping up again now it can do it um, if you're in a less no well listen in a less noisy environment you can do it um, so it's capable of it so I want them to actually put those ranges into the DC volts ranges so you got you know a microvolt and a nanovolt range as well so it'd be 200 nanovolt 200 microvolt 200 millivolts and so on you know um, and I think that would be good um, that would be something which would be uh, wanted by some people you know it's certainly coming handy for me especially doing this sort of thing so uh, right stuff thought I'd mention that have a good one